Chapter Thirty Two of Lotus Buds. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson. Lotus Buds by Amy Wilson Carmichael. The Power Behind the Work. To him, difficulties are as nothing, and improbabilities of less than no account. Story of the China Inland Mission The power behind the work is the interposition of God in answer to prayer. Recently, so recently that it would be unwise to go into detail, we were in trouble about a little girl of ten or eleven, who, though not a temple child, was exposed to imminent danger, and sorely needed deliverance. I happened to be alone at Donover at the time, and did not know what to answer to the child's urgent message. If I can escape to you, this meant if she braved capture and its consequences, and fled across the fields alone at night, can you protect me from my people? To say yes might have had fatal results. To say no seemed too impossible. The circumstances were such that great care was needed to avoid being entangled in legal complications and as the collector chief magistrate for our part of the district happened just then to be in our neighbourhood i wrote asking for an appointment early next morning we met by the roadside i had been up most of the night and was tired and anxious and i shall never forget the comfort that came through the quiet sympathy with which one who was quite a stranger to us all listened to the story not as if it were a mere missionary trifle but something worthy his attention but nothing could be done it was not a case where we had any ground for appeal to the law and any attempt upon our part to help the child could only have resulted in more trouble afterwards for we should certainly have had to give her up if she came to us as the inevitableness of this conclusion became more and more evident to me it seemed as if a great strong wall were rising foot by foot between me and that little girl, a wall like the walls that enclose the temples here, very high, very massive. But even temple walls have doors, and I could not see any door in this wall. Nothing could bring that child to us but a power enthroned above the wall, which would stoop and lift her over it. I do not remember what led to the question about what we expected would happen, but I remember that with that wall full in view I could only answer, the interposition of God. Nothing else, nothing less, could do anything for that child. Her case was complicated, if I may express it so, by the fact that though she knew very little, she had only a few weeks teaching and could not read, she had believed all we told her most simply and literally and witness to her own people whose reply to her had been you will see who is stronger your god or ours do you think that your lord jesus can deliver you from our hand to prevent us from doing as we choose with you we shall see and the case of an older girl who had been as those who knew her best believed drugged and then bent to her people's will was quoted did your lord jesus deliver her where is she to-day and you think he will deliver you but he will not let you hurt me the child answered fearlessly though her strength was weakened even by thirty hours without food and remembering one of the bible stories she had heard during those weeks she added i am daniel and you are the lions and she told them how the angel was sent to shut the lion's mouths but she knew so little after all and the bravest can be overborne and she was only a little girl so our hearts ached for her as we sent her the message you must not try to come to us we cannot protect you but jesus is with you he will not fail you he says fear not for i am with thee that night they shut her up with a demon-possessed woman that the terror of it might shake her faith in christ next day they hinted that worse would happen soon 
our fear was lest her faith should fail before deliverance came three and a half months of such tension as we have rarely known passed over us often during that time when one thing after another happened contrarywise as it appeared and each event as it occurred seemed to add another foot to the wall that still grew higher help to faith came to us through unexpected sources like voices blown on the winds once it was something lieutenant shackleton is reported to have said to reuter's correspondent concerning his expedition to the south pole over and over again there were times when no mortal leadership could have availed us it was during those times that we learned that some power beyond our own guided our footsteps and the illustrations which followed of divine interposition were such that one at least who read took courage for the god of the great ice fields is the god of the tropics once it was a passage opened by chance in a friend's book pastor ignorum the subject of the paragraph is the schoolboy's attitude towards games glimpses of his mind are sometimes given us as on that day at risingham when you refused to play in your boy's house match unless the other house excluded from their team a half-back who was under a tender through a recent row they declined and you stood out of it the hush in the field when your orphan team in defiance of the odds scored and again scored their supporters in chaste awe at the marvel could hardly shout it was more like a sob a judgment had so manifestly defended the right the cricket professional a man naturally devout looked at me with eyes that confessed an interposition and all came away quiet as a crowd from a cemetery it was not a game of football we had looked at it was a mystery play we had been edified and we hid it in our hearts and once on the darkest day of all it was the brave old family motto on a letter which came by post du devant le droit it was something to be reminded that in spite of appearances to the contrary the kingdom is the lord's and he is governor among the people eyes that confessed an interposition the phrase was illuminated for us when god in very truth interposed in such fashion that every one saw it was his hand for no other hand could have done it then we too looked at each other with eyes that confessed an interposition we had seen that which we should never forget and until the time comes when it may be more fully told to the glory of our god we have hid it in our hearts the reason we have outlined the story is to lead to a word we want to write very earnestly it is this friends who care for the children and believe this work on their behalf is something god intends should be done pray as if on that alone hung the issue of the day more than we know depends upon our holding on in prayer all through those months there was prayer for that child in india and in england the matter was so urgent that we made it widely known and some at least of those who heard gave themselves up to prayer not to the mere easy prayer which costs little and does less but to that waiting upon god which does not rest till it knows it has obtained access knows that it has the petition that it desires of him this sort of prayer costs but to us down in the thick of the battle it was strength to think of that prayer we were very weary with hope deferred for it was as if all the human hope in us was torn out of us and tossed and buffeted every way till there was nothing left of it but an aching place where it had been god works by means as we all admit but so every fresh development in a court case in which the child was involved every turn of affairs where her relatives were concerned and those turns were frequent every little movement which seemed to promise something was eagerly watched in the expectation that in it lay the interposition for which we waited but it seemed as if our hopes were raised only to be dashed lower than ever till we were cast upon the bare word of our god it was given to us then as perhaps never before to penetrate to the innermost spring of consolation contained in those very old words i should utterly have fainted 
but that i believe verily to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living o tarry thou the lord's leisure be strong and he shall comfort thine heart and put thou thy trust in the lord this divine interposition has been very inspiring we feel afresh the force of the question is there anything too hard for the lord and we ask those whose hearts are with us to pray for more such manifestations of the power that has not passed with the ages lord teach us to pray for it has never been with us come see and conquer as if victory were an easy thing and a common we have known what it is to toil for the salvation of some little life and we have known the bitterness of defeat we have had to stand on the shore of a dark and boundless sea and watch that little white life swept off as by a great black wave we have watched it drift further and further out on those desolate waters till suddenly something from underneath caught it and sucked it down and our very soul had gone out in the cry would god i had died for thee and we too have gone to the chamber over the gate where we could be alone with our grief and our god o oh, little child loved and lost would god i had died for thee should we forget these things should we bury them away lest they hurt some sensitive soul rather could we forget them if we would and dare we hide away the knowledge lest somewhere someone should be hurt for it is not as if that black wave's work were a thing of the past it has gone on for centuries unchecked it is going on to-day several months have passed since the chapters which precede this were written we are now with some of our converts who needed rest and change in a place under the mountains a day's journey from donover it is one of the holy places of the south for the northern tributary of the chief river of this district falls over the cliffs at this point in a double leap of one hundred and eighty feet and the waters are so disposed over a great rounded shoulder of rock that many people can bathe below in a long single file to this fall thousands of pilgrims come from all parts of india believing that such bathing is meritorious and cleanses away all sin and as they are far from their homes and in measure out on holiday we find them more than usually accessible and friendly this morning i was on my way home after talk with the women and was turning for a moment to look back upon the beautiful sorrowful scene the flashing waterfall the passing crowd of pilgrims the radiance of sunshine on water wood and rock when a brahmin fresh from bathing followed my look and glancing at the new testament and bag of gospels in my hand smiled indulgently and asked if we seriously thought these books and their teaching would ever materially influence india look at that crowd he pointed to the people his own caste people chiefly have we been influenced then he told me the story of the falls how ages ago a god pitying the sins and the sufferings of the people bathed on the ledge where the waters leap and thereafter those waters were efficacious to the cleansing of sin from the one who believingly bathes to the one who believes not nothing happens beyond the cleansing of his body and its invigoration even to you he added in his friendliness virtue of a sort is allowed for do you not experience a certain exhilaration and a buoyancy of spirit and a pleasure beyond anything obtainable elsewhere which is perfectly true this is due to the benevolence of our god whose merits extend even to you he was an educated man he had studied in a mission school and afterwards in a government college he had read english books and parts of our bible were familiar to him he assured me he found no more difficulty in accepting this legend than we did in accepting the story of our saviour's incarnation and then standing in the temple porch with its carved stone pillars almost within touch of the great door that opens behind it into the shrine he led the way into the higher hinduism that mysterious land which lies all around us in india 
but is so seldom shown to us and i listened till in turn he was persuaded to listen and we read together from the gospel which transcends in its simplicity the profoundest reach of hindu thought in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god we did not pause till we came to the end of the paragraph i could see how it appealed for deep calleth unto deep but he rose again up and up and that unknown part of one's being which is more akin to the east than to the west followed him and understood when the door behind us creaked and a sudden blast of turbulent music sprang out upon us deafening us for a moment and he said it is the morning worship the priests and the servants of the gods are worshipping within it was like a fall from far away heights to the very floor of things then he told me how in the town three miles distant the benares of the south the service of the gods was conducted with more elaborate ceremonial i could arrange for you to see it if you wished i explained why i could not wish to see it and asked him about the servants of the gods and about the little children certainly there are little children the servants of the gods adopt them to continue the succession how else could it be continued end of section thirty two